Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use associative arrays in PHP. Now, an associative array is a special type of array where not only we can store data values, but we can actually store what are called key value pairs. So unlike a normal array where I could just store like numbers or text or a combination of both, in an associative array, I could store a series of key value pairs which would allow me to access that information differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how these work. The easiest way to wrap your mind around it is just to see an example. So let's create an example and then we're actually gonna create a little um, web application where um, we can use these associative arrays. So down here, I'm gonna show you guys how we can use these. Let's say that I was writing a website for a school. And for this website, I wanted to be able to keep track of the different students in my class and the grades that they got on a particular test. Well, this is actually a scenario where we could use something called an associative array. So in other words, inside of this array, I'm gonna be storing two pieces of information. I'm gonna be storing the student's name and I'm gonna be storing the grade that they got on the test. And those two data values are sort of like linked together. And in an associative array, we could actually represent data like that. So I'm gonna create this just like I'd create a normal array. I'm gonna make a dollar sign and why don't we just call this like grades and I'm gonna set this equal to array with an open and close parentheses. So, so far this is exactly like a normal array. The difference is though, now when I put elements inside of this array, instead of just storing single pieces of information, I'm gonna store key value pairs. So the first thing I wanna do is store the student's name. So let's say the student's name is Jim and then I wanna say equal sign, greater than sign, and I'm gonna store the grade that Jim got on the test. So let's say that Jim got an A plus on the test. Let's say Jim's really smart. So unlike a normal element in an array, I'm storing a key, which is the student's name, and then I'm storing a value. In other words, I'm mapping a value to a specific student's name. Over here, I can do the same thing for another student. So let's say we have another student, Pam, and let's say that Pam got a B minus on the test, All right? So now I'm storing the student and I'm also storing the grade that they got on the test. Why don't we do one more? Let's make another student. And you'll notice I'm separating these different students with this comma, just like I would normal array elements. So over here, we're just gonna say Oscar and let's say that Oscar got a C plus on the test, All right? So we have our three students, Jim, who got an A+, Pam, who got a B-, and Oscar, who got a C+. So you'll notice I'm storing a key and then I'm mapping it to a particular value. I'm storing the student's name and I'm mapping that name to a particular grade. And what's cool about these associative arrays is when I wanna access one of these elements, I could just come down here and I could say grades and I'm gonna make an open and close square bracket and in here, I can just type in the name of the student. So I could say grades Jim. And this is actually gonna tell me what grade Jim got on the test. So when I refresh the page over here, and actually, whoops, I need to echo this out. So I'm gonna say echo. This is gonna tell me what grade Jim got. So we can see over here, Jim got an A+. I could do the same thing for Oscar. So I'm just gonna see what Oscar got. Looks like Oscar got a C+. So unlike a normal array where we access elements using their index position, in an associative array, we access elements using what's called a key. And the key is basically this value over here. So we would say that Jim is a key, Pam is a key, and Oscar is a key. And then over here, we have the values. So we have a key and it's mapped to a particular value. And I wanna, when I wanna access that value inside the associative array, I just pass in the key. And one thing you do wanna keep in mind is that you want all of the keys inside of your associative array to be unique. So if I came over here and I made this student also named Jim, well then when I tried to access Jim, like it's unclear which one we're referring to. So you always wanna make sure that these are unique, right? So I have different names for all of these keys. The values can be the same, however. So I could um, come over here and have Pam also get an A+, just like Jim, and that's gonna be no problem. But you always wanna make sure that those keys are unique. And just like with a normal array, I could also come over here and modify this. So I could say like grades Jim, and I could give this a value. So I can say grades Jim is equal to F. So let's say now Jim fails the test. 
And over here, when we print this out, gyms is gonna have a new value of F. So you can essentially do everything you would do with a normal array. You could also um, get how many elements are inside of it. So I could say count and over here, this will tell us how many key mappings we have. So we have three. And like I said, it's just like a, you know any normal array that we would have in our program. I wanna show you guys how we could use this to build um, a little website. So what I'm gonna do is I actually have a form set up over here and I'm just gonna uncomment this. And you'll see it's a simple form. It's just action is site.php. That's this file. Um, we're using the post method. And then down here we have an input button. What I wanna do is I want to write a website where the user can enter in a name and then we will basically print out what grade that user got on the test. So I can come over here and I'm just gonna make another um, input and I'm just gonna say type is equal to text. This is just gonna be a text box and I'm gonna give this a name. So why don't we call this student? And essentially inside of this text box, we're gonna be printing, we're gonna be typing in the student's name whose grade we want to figure out. And so what I can do is when the user submits, when they click this submit button, I could actually come down here and access that information. So what I could do is I could say echo and I'm gonna echo out grades and then I wanna get the value that they passed in. So I'm gonna make an open and close square bracket and inside of here, I'm gonna put dollar sign underscore post, open and close square bracket and in here, we're just gonna put student. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the value that the user entered inside of that text box and I'm accessing that element inside of the associative array. So let's go over here and refresh our page and you'll see we have our text box. So if I typed in like Jim, for example, when I click submit, this should tell me what grade Jim got on the test. So you'll see we get back a plus. I could do the same for Pam and it looks like Pam also got an A plus and then we could do it for Oscar and Oscar got that C plus. So this is basically a way that we could wire up like getting user input with an associative array. And this is actually really useful. So you can see how storing the information like this in an associative array where we have key value pairs makes it really, really easy for us to access that information in the future. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.